In the studio with us, we have Angela and Ayla from Beltrami Electric. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Make it all exciting in here this morning. Absolutely. I like it when guests bring notes. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> of course, we know uh, all the great things Beltrami Electric does. Keeps our power on. How is the storm before we get to the EV car show? Everything, you guys all recovered from the storm? We're recovered, but we're still repairing. I think we'll be repairing throughout the whole construction season. Wow. Like we're, as people are clearing things out, they're, we're finding more damage, like damaged transformers, damaged pads that still need to be replaced. We still have some poles that were temporary, so oh. we still have work ahead of us. Yeah. Just like everybody else. <laughs> Just like everybody else. <laughs> But we were like, hey, you guys got to get out there and get the power on right away. <laughs> and they did. And they did. Yes. That was awesome. Uh, the EV car show, you guys been doing this for years now. This is our seventh year. Isn't that crazy? Yep. yep. It's part of uh, National Drive Electric Week, which now they've changed to National Drive Electric Month. So it started the last week in September, and it runs through the third week in October. So we try and host an event, you know, during that time frame. Um, for the community to come out and learn more about electric vehicles, electric technologies. It's come a long ways in the, even in the last seven years, hasn't it? Right. It has, yes. And there's more options out there, too, and the prices have come down. And, you know, there's been some federal tax credits over the years that have helped people get into them. And, yeah. Yeah, 7500 bucks, right? Tom today's the last day for that? Today's the last it day. It is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 4000 for a used one. Wow. If you buy a used one, you can get 4000 Nice. And so you guys will ride and drive, huh, that at the is, show? Yes, that is correct. So um, members of the community have the opportunity to ride in a vehicle, or if they want to test one out, they sure can. Um, the options for that, as we had mentioned earlier, is we have a Ford F-150 Lightning, a Shelby Silverado. We will have a Tesla, and we'll have our Polaris Kinetic as well. And only in northern Minnesota? Mm-hmm. There will be a Zamboni on display. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Bemidji Community Arena has volunteered. They have um, two Zambonis, and one sheet of their ice is electric. So they are bringing that one over to show people and pull it in our garage and let kids climb on it and all the things. Works like a regular Zamboni? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, I mean, are they different? So the difference really with this one and their sheet of ice is that they don't have to have um, like the air circulation that you would if you have like um, a motor running, a motor yeah, running in sure. in that in that sheet. So with the electric, it saves on that. I guess a combustion. Yes. Yes. Motor. Nice. Yep. And uh, I know one thing that uh, with the the uh, why am I, I just forget the name of the tools? But Ace Ace is going to be there, yes. right? Ace will be there with a the, with a booth and their Ego brand tools. Uh, that's yep. what I was gonna say. Ego. They have e bikes. They're gonna bring. Last year they had you know electric snowblowers, electric lawnmowers, electric yard power tools, a uh, little motorbike, um, lots of different things. So people can come and check those out and try them out. And people go to an EV car first time. What's the process of getting that charger installed for them? What are, are there times that you can charge off peak and get a cheaper price? What's the process? It's a great question. Yes. Yeah, Schulte. Wow. Yeah. I try. <laughs> yes, please come. You know, that's what we'll have some of our experts there to explain that. So if you're looking at putting in a level two charger, you can um, reach out to one of us. And the process is, you know, hiring your electrician, uh, the benefits of putting that level two charger in your home on that off-peak program is what we call it is you're charging at off-peak times paying a lower electric rate so you can charge your vehicle get home at five plug it in and then it'll charge during those off-peak times in the evening which is close to about half the cost in the winter months and you know with the level two charger you're looking at charging overnight versus just plugging into a 110 outlet i mean that could take days right. so <laughs> we all don't have days on that but no, it, no, it's a great opportunity to get, you know, and talk to, you know, the members who are bringing their cars there and, you know, what's their experience and, you know, get their testimonials. And you, it's amazing, you know, what, it, you know, people are worried about that range anxiety, but as long as you know where your routes are and plan ahead, you don't have to worry about that and kind of goes away. Right. 
Yeah, and we do offer rebates for the installation of chargers in people's homes on off-peak, too. So Wow. And the cost of the chargers has come down, so, it, you know, it does help cover that expense for the member. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a great way for the uh, community to get educated, right, about this. What are some uh, misnomers or things that people don't understand about having an electric car or, or this process that you, you guys run into sometimes? Like, oh, that's not true. Oh, they don't work in northern Minnesota. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, they do, and we drive them. You know, mm-hmm. we've taken our Chevy Bolt and, and Ford Lightning to Grand Forks for meetings at Minkota Power. Um, you know, you charge up while you're at the meeting and you drive home. Um, you know, it's no different really than your ice vehicle losing range in the winter when you're heating and, you know, those kinds of things. You will u- lose some range but it's still doable. And I would assume that that technology is growing really fast and range is going to just yes. skyrocket in the not too distant future. Yes, Won't and it? the difference from you know the first vehicle we purchased to the, the new Chevy Silverado that we're leasing, like that range is much longer. You know, the batteries are bigger. They're able to take a charge faster. Um, so... Remember, like in the '80s and '90s, when we put our batteries in the freezer because it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still know people that do that. Right. Well, up here, I guess that would be helpful. Or is that just a, just a silly little thing we did that didn't really work? A giant C cell battery for your flashlight. We don't need those anymore either. Well, if you think about like the people that are driving electric vehicles today, they've probably been in an electric vehicle since they were a toddler, driving around their yard sure. in them little mm-hmm. jeeps. So it's nothing really new, you know, to the younger generation. Um, And not only that, you look at the infrastructure that's been in place, you know, the expansion of where you can charge, whether it be a level two, and now you're seeing a lot more of those level three, those fast chargers. So if you wanted to go on a, you know, a trip or, you know, some long distance travel, you stop with the DC fast fast charger, grab a bite to eat, you know, 30, 40 minutes, you're back up to 80%. Huh. And you can just keep on moving. So um, that's another, um, bringing that up, is uh, Bob Gregg, our business development manager. He actually just took his Tesla all the way to Banff and back here two weeks ago. So he will be there and offer his experience or talk about his experience, which went flawless. I mean, he had ran into no issues charging. Yeah. Right. Uh, talk to the, I know some folks have Teslas, and they just love those cars. And you'll have one on display, right, the Tesla Model 3? We'll have a lot of Teslas yes. on display, oh, okay. but we'll have one that people can ride and drive. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yep. We should tell everybody when this is. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a lot about it. This Thursday, right? Four this, or six? This Thursday, yeah, in the garage at Beltrami Electric, we'll have the vehicles that you can ride and drive parked outside. And then inside the garage, we'll have probably close to 20 vehicles inside parked. People can come in and visit with the owners and, and look at them and ask questions. And Do you have people so. that then, so they can get more information on getting an install for their house, so they can mm-hmm. have a charger, uh, and then programs, so that's all available when they go on Thursday as well? Yep, so we are partnering with Otter Tail Power as well. So um, there will be representatives from Otter Tail Power as well as Bell Tremie Electric. So those who are local with their utility company uh, will be there to answer those questions. That's so nice how you guys work together. Yep. Mm-hmm. We really want it to be a community event, you know, an educational opportunity for people to come out and, and learn more and get their questions answered. And, you know, we're not seeing a lot of electrical vehicles on lots because the demand has been high you know, as soon as they, they get produced, keep they can't keep them in. So this is a great opportunity. If you really want to see one up close and, and learn more about it, you know, you've got that. You can come in, see all different kinds of models. We'll have several different models of Teslas um, and many other different brands of electric vehicles, too. Yeah, we got a Chevy Blazer. I think we do might have a Cybertruck. Again, we had yeah. one last year, so that's fun. There's Bolts, Volts. Um there's a lot out there. You'd see there's um, Ionic Q, I think is what's yep. the brand on that. Is it Hyundai? Hyundai, yeah. Hyundai, thank you. Um, and speaking of that, we will have Iron Hide equipment out of Bemidji here. They are going to bring an electric Bobcat. And I do believe it's a track loader. It's a track loader. It's wow. a compact so, track loader. It's the first yeah. one in the world. Mm-hmm. Wow. And well, uh, you look at, I looked, at, I looked them up online and it <laughs> says that, 
you know, they are more powerful than their diesel counterparts. So I'm really excited to uh, see, to see that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, w one thing we can throw at hunters, a Polaris Ranger Kinetic, right? You sneak up on your deer. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Won't hear you coming. <laughs> Don't you get your gun out. We have heard people that have ego dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. And you literally don't hear them. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. And scare the daylights out of somebody. You come up right <laughs> behind them. They have no idea that you're there. Well, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, as you know, Schultz. I'm aware. So I watched one where they matched a, a real motocross dirt bike, gas-powered and electric one. And the electric guy blew his doors off. So the, the fact that they're not as fast. They're faster. I guess I got to. They are fast. They're fun. And. Same with the vehicles; they're fun to drive. Like when I first got in Bob's car and he took me up, took me for a test drive, it was like threw me back in the seat, and I'm like, "Whoa, you gotta slow down, Bob! I'm going to car sick." <laughs> well, then they're just like uh, regular cars, but better. Mm -hmm. And that's this Thursday, four to six. Yep, the first seventy-five people that come can get uh, an EV car show T-shirt like we're wearing today. Ooh. Yep. And then we'll have. Snacks and beverages for people to in attendance. Oh, now everybody's coming. I'll freeze that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We know what the people want. Right. It's always check out that car later. Where's the snack? <laughs> <laughs> and we will have a giveaway. Yep. On top of that, yes. Yep. We've, if you register for the door prize, you can win um, a Milwaukee toolkit. So perfect. Or no, it's a Milwaukee. It's a Milwaukee. Um, we picked it up so long ago. I know. It's a Milwaukee <laughs> compact um, vacuum. Oh, perfect. Yes. Like shop vac. Yep. So you go and sign up for that. Learn more about EV. It's been almost a decade. for <laughs> Still learning. Yeah. Just stuck in our old ways. Well, thanks for coming in. Sure has been exciting. And uh, everyone's invited. It's a free event coming up this Thursday, 4 to 6. Should be a nice day, right? It's gonna be beautiful. Beautiful. Day. Yep. Do you Perfect. have any uh, EV air conditioners in the garage? <laughs> 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 Some fans blow in. This just big do the ride and drive, and just hang out in there. True. Try each one out. Well, uh, thanks for coming by. And if people have questions, they can just show up on Thursday, right? Right. right. Yep. Do you have people that come by and go? I need to talk to you about EV cars. Do you? Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Because they got to figure out a way to get them charged. And... Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. They'll stop in either before they're buying one or after, right after they bought one. And, you know, how do I get a charger in my garage? And, yeah. You should probably do that before you buy one. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of the cars now will come with a charger. So it's just the matter of, of getting it, you know, wired into your existing garage. So all I so. have to do is figure out a lightning cord for EV cards. It and it could be simple. Maybe you already have that welder outlet or, okay. you know, dryer plug in in your garage, and then you just have to wire that to off-peak. He, he calls every cord, by the way, a lightning cord. <laughs> <laughs> Only the ones that charge your phone quicker than you plug it in, and four seconds later, like, wow, I'm at 95%. Yeah. <laughs> the other cord I have, hours. We went over this the other day, Schultz. Mm, I'm aware. And I know you told me it's not a lightning cord. Correct. But I think it's a lightning cord because how quick it charges, mm -hmm. even though I don't know the right name of the cord. Perfect. Well, thanks for stopping by and, and sharing that information. Everybody's invited uh, Thursday, 4 to 6, Beltrami Electric, mm -hmm. right next to Paul Bunyan Communications. Yep. Right. We'll have signs out if everybody's wondering. So just drive to the garage area. It's a hard area. building to miss. It's giant and it's <laughs> Beltrami Electric yeah. on it. And, and it's the inner, isn't that, what is that, the uh, energy park? No. What is Technology. That? Technology, Technology park. park. Ayla? Mm -hmm. Angela, thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. Thank you.